welcome to my new video. So today I'm going to be doing a bit of a different video. I'm actually going to compare two lip products that I bought recently. And the first of those is the Maybelline Baby Lips. Now this is a hybrid between a lip balm and a lipstick. And so it's kind of like a tinted lip balm, it's got a bit of colour to it. The second product is the Revlon Lip Butter. And this is more like a lipstick combined with a lip gloss, so it's a lot more shiny on the lips and it's got more of a depth of colour to it. Okay, so first of all, um, I'm just going to talk about the price. Now, the Baby Lips um, is retailing for £2.99 at Boots. I actually got these when they were two for £5 at Tesco, so they do go a bit cheaper, but still £2.99, £2.50 is a brilliant price for what it is, really. Um, so good job Maybelline on that. Now the Revlon Lip Butter is retailing for 7 dollars I think. Yeah, 7 dollars at Boots, so quite a lot more expensive. Already I kind of expect more from this lipstick. Um, just because of the price difference, though, what am I paying my money for? I want more from this one than I already expect from this one. So for price, Maybelline wins out. So next is packaging. As you can see, the Maybelline Baby Lips comes in a coloured tube with a see-through lid on it. Each of the different colours are the different coloured tubes. They're really easy to see at the bottom of your handbag. Uh, but the only thing is, on the see-through cover, I don't actually really like the graffiti style writing on it. Um, it's just, I just think it's the best packaging. And on the Revlon, as you can see, it's a lovely pink cover over the lips. It's a Revlon um, logo at the bottom. Half of the tube has actually got a quilted design. It's kind of like a frosty pink, which I love. And inside there's the chrome tube, which just looks amazing. And just really like this packaging on this one. So I think for packaging, Revlon has to be the winner. <laughs> Okay, so next is colour range. Uh, the Maybelline come, Baby Lips comes in, I think, three or four different colours um, in the range. It's not, it's not a great colour range and the colours aren't very strong on the lips. They're more of a subtle colour. I've got the peach one on today. I think it's called Peach Kiss. Um, they're, they're nice. They're just not a very strong colour. They're more edging towards a lip balm than a lipstick. Um, I think there's some neon colours on the way, but they're not out yet. So for the colour range of the baby lips, it's quite poor really. Um, as for the Revlon Lip Butter, they do a great colour range there. I have the butter in Pink Lemonade, which is a quite popular colour I think. And it's a really strong colour on as well. Um, you can really see it, it's quite nice, it's nice and shiny. So definitely for colour range, the Revlon Lip Butter is the winner. Okay, next is wearability. Now, I love wearing the Baby Lips colours, they're so smooth on the lips, they're not sticky at all. It literally feels like you're wearing a lip balm but you just get that little bit of colour as well which is great. They last all day, they don't go sticky and horrible, they just sort of soak in and they do hydrate your lips. So they have really good wearability and I definitely recommend them to anyone who wants something a bit more subtle than a lipstick. Now the lip butter I find far too sticky, it's thick and heavy on the lips. Um, it sort of like clumps up after a while. The colour is quite intense so it does last a long time but it just doesn't feel nice. It just feels like your lips are sticking together and it's just... I don't particularly like it. So definitely for wearability I would vote for baby lips. Okay, next is smell. Um, and If you've seen my August favourites video you'll know that I love the smell of the baby lips. They smell amazing. Especially the cherry one. Um, it just smells divine. It's just lush. I love it. As for the lip butters, they don't smell like anything. There's just, there's no smell to them at all. Which is fine, it's better than sort of a horrible smell, but I just think it's nice to have a fruity scent in your lipstick or lip balm. So I'm definitely gonna give the battle of the smell to Baby Lips. So as you can see, the Baby Lips is the winner. I would definitely recommend it if you're going out and wanna choose between these two products to go for the Baby Lips. Um, it's easier to wear, you don't get a strong of a colour, but it does last all day and it's quite hydrating, whereas the lip butter I find is quite sticky. Maybe if you are if you like wearing lip gloss, it would be more for you. I don't particularly like wearing lip gloss. I prefer just a lipstick. Okay, so thanks for watching. Um, if you like this type of video, let me know. I'm happy to do more of these, comparing two products together. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, bye.